everybody and welcome as usual to the Geek Lab and today we're going to look at something on the Galaxy Note 4 which allows you to actually have your Galaxy Note 4 appear on the screen of your PC and for you to able, actually able to control it and transfer files to and from it which is a very good thing and even make phone calls just with it on the screen of your PC. It's called a Sideswipe, it's from Samsung. It might run on other Samsung devices, I do not know. Have a look if you're not sure, you'll find out. But it's a very good device and we're making a lot of use of it. So let's go downstairs, fire up the PC and have a look. Right, here we are downstairs and I've had to plug PC into the big TV because the PC was flickering like a bugger with the camera so it wasn't happy. So what you need to do is first of all install side sync and I said I think I said side swipe last time but you need to install it onto your phone and onto your PC. It's easy enough to find for the phone it's in the Google Play Store or you can just do a search on the interweb interweb browser. Yeah I'll call it the interweb browser for now. And same for your PC just install it uh, do a search for side sync which looks like uh, just find it here. I have it here somewhere. There it is. That's the symbol. And uh, just install that onto your PC. That does take quite a while. It did on mine because it has to reinstall DirectX and all this. So it took a while. But once that's done, all you need to do is press side sync on your phone and it will be sit there scanning to different devices. Now, if you go into settings, uh, there is a list of allowed devices. That's my PC. And it will auto accept those devices on that list. Uh, first time you link up, it will ask this. Uh, so you will need your phone for the first attempt. So all you need to do once it's installed on your PC is double click on it. You must have it running, as I've said, on the phone. And it's <laughs> stopped working. Right, let's try again. Okay, you can connect via USB or Wi-Fi, and I'm going for Wi-Fi, so your phone can be anywhere in the house. And there it is, just come up, so I'll click on that, makes a connection, and here we go. There's the screen up on the, uh, there we go, up on the PC, and the Galaxy screen has shut down. So you actually have direct control, so you can swipe and go through the menus there we go I'll just move that over there because it's a bit close to the PC I think that's causing a few issues, there we go it was running lovely and smooth earlier but you can see there you go, you can swipe through things, if I hold down up comes the other menus and just for the hell of it let's grab something oh I don't want to grab the whole thing there is a bit of break up there just to the network speed Can I just do one symbol? No. Ah, uh, yeah, do it from there. There we go. There we go. We can remove that if we wanted to. Can I remotely activate the torch? That would be quite interesting. Let's have a look. And I can confirm. There we go. That the torch has come on. <laughs> That's something we haven't done before. And if I click on torch here, ta da! -da torch goes out. So you can operate all your programs as usual with a few exceptions. Uh, oh, network slow down. So you can have a look at uh, YouTube. Click on YouTube and up it comes. There we go. And uh, we'll just go to my channel, shall we? Uploads. And uh, there we go. That's my last tutorial video. Complete with sound. So this is the TV, it's not. There we go. And if you want to watch it in landscape. There you go. And it rotates just like the phone. And you can bring it up to full screen. Now there's obviously slow down because my network's not brilliant. But you get the idea. On your fast networks, this is not going to be a problem. So all your buttons here work as usual. Note four. We've got
got it there. So um, I can actually swipe um, my video off like that. Isn't that cool? So if I swap back to normal, there we go, from rotates, everything rotates just as normal. Now, uh, the question people are going to ask, does Angry Birds work on it? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Let's uh, rotate it. And uh, let's see if Angry Birds works. There we go. I can confirm the music and the video actually was working a bit, uh, a bit smoother earlier, but it might be because I've got it in the living room this time. Earlier it was in the bedroom and everything was smooth. I'm just interference from the PC as well. So you can actually play Angry Birds or your regular games with only a little bit of slowdown, depending on your, your Wi-Fi network, obviously. Let's have a quick look and show you how it goes. You ready? Boink! Okay, I'm addicted now. We're gonna have to. Uh... There we go. Right. Boink. Yeah. So there we go. And obviously, you can knock this up to full screen, like that. Now, the other thing that people want to know about is uh, file transfer, because this allows you to transfer files. Isn't that good? I'm just gonna. Be right back, I'm just going to transfer a file to my desktop and then we'll demonstrate that working. I'll be right back. Right, okay, we've got my copy of Bedrooms from to from Bedrooms to Billions. If you haven't seen that, it's a documentary about the uh, the gaming industry uh, from its inception to the present day. And uh, if I want to transfer that to my phone to watch while well, on while I'm mobile. What we do is take it and drop it. The uh, it will start up, and it will ask you where you want to keep it. So I'll put it next to my Challenger disaster film. Uh oh, <laughs> I'll put it next to my Challenger film. I don't want to watch that now. Uh, and click done, and I get a little whistle from my phone, and drag the menu down. There we go, and you can see oh. It's receiving a file from the computer. So I'll cancel that because I don't want that. Okie dokie. And uh, talking of which, if I go back to the desktop, I look at my files, uh, videos, challenges, disaster. Uh, just to show you, you can stream video off it. Come on, don't let me down, computer. Computer slow today. There we go. But there's the Challenges Disaster film playing, streaming from the phone to the PC. So that works fine. Okay, the other thing is, you can shrink it. You can have a little mini phone over here. That's really good. Look at that, my feet. Little mini phone in the corner. Very nice. And the good thing is, the wifey, do you have my phone number? I think it's the last one that called. Hang on, we'll just set this up. Right, wifey's going to call me now. And I should just pull this up a little bit. There we go. Boink. Ah, here we go. I'll have to pull it up. My phone is ringing, it's also on the screen. And I can answer that. Hello. 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 So we're in the same room, so it's going to be echoing. But as you can hear, you can actually make phone calls from your PC through it via your phone, which is bloody good. Well, just, well if you just cut it off. Yes. There we go. So I shall have to blank that out so you don't call me because I know all my female friends want to call me. Yes. Uh, 
I don't like it. Uh, all my female friends will want to be calling me. I've told so, you you can't bring them home. So this actually allows you to make calls from your desktop and go full screen there. And uh, there are, there is one couple of things you can't use. Oh, you can do screen captures by pressing that button I just hit. Uh, what you can't do is if I go camera, it will not let you obviously open the camera while it's in this mode. Uh, but you can use everything else, only S Pen functions. I did try the S Pen functions. Uh, if I create, there's a new node, and obviously the phone needs to detect the S Pen for this to work. So, as far as I know, this does not work. But apart from that, yes, you can sit your little phone down there in the corner of your uh, corner of your computer. If you've lost your phone, it's somewhere in the house. Well, you just have side sync running, and uh, there you go. You can just use it on your computer, or just leave your phone on charge in the bedroom, wherever, and have it running on your computer. And you don't need to pester your phone. So that is a good thing and we'll be making a bit of use of that so i hope you've enjoyed that if you have please uh, comment uh, subscribe and uh, if you like the video if you found it useful please tickle the like button down there and uh, we also have a playlist of my other videos i've done so far which is the initial unboxing and setup of the galaxy note 4 and a tutorial which was uh, hmm, me learning how to use the s pen so uh, there's a link to them coming up as well. So thank you all for that a much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>